Hey guys, hope you're having an amazing day. This is Haseeb and in this video, I'm going to talk about implementing an IVR system in Go High Level. So Go High Level has the ability to implement an IVR system for your company uh, or if you're working for someone, Go High Level has the ability to do that. And I'm going to give you an example in this video. I'm going to implement an IVR system for a law firm where new leads could be calling the firm to take their cases. There could be existing clients calling the firm for a follow-up. There could be vendors, there could be other brokers, lots of things. So we are gonna implement a system where calls come in to the number of this client, of this uh, of this business, and based on their user input, the calls get forwarded to different directions. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. You can think of your own version and all I'm trying to do is just to put this IVR workflow into context so you can think of how you can do it for your own business. So let's go ahead and start the workflow. I'm in my sub account because I need to have a number. So I'm going to use my number in this in this example. So let's just go ahead and create a new workflow. Let's start from scratch. Um, there is a template like a recipe when you're creating a workflow there's lots of templates that go high level gives you you have an IVR recipe workflow there as well so you can go with that but I'm going to show you from scratch so you know what's going on and that will help you understand it a bit better so let's just go ahead and call it IVR workflow for law firm so what will be the trigger the trigger will be one when, when the call uh, comes in so let's just search for IVR start IVR trigger so when the call comes in, we can start an IVR trigger and that's our trigger of this workflow. So I'm using my number over here and you at least need to have one number in a sub account to start the IVR system because the call will be coming into this number that will trigger the IVR. So let's think about our actions. What are we doing first? We are, first of all, going to go to, we're going to go to IVR, the IVR uh, section over here. So first of all, let's just say or play a message. So you can either type a message which will be played in a robotic voice or you could just upload your own voice recording so if you just do that play a message you can upload a file that's it it's pretty simple but if you say a message you'll say welcome to brian's law firm hope you are having an amazing day that's the first message you can cho choose a language which is only english us right now you can choose either a man's voice or a woman's voice and you can choose how many times the message will be played let's just have it one otherwise it'll look super weird so that's the initial message right so we're gonna say initial message that's it now let's go ahead and, uh, and search for our next action so what are we gonna do next now we are gonna give people options so let's just do gather input on call so in order to get an input we need to give them the directions so we're, we're gonna say uh, if you are a new contacting us for the first time press one if you are an existing client of ours press two if you are calling regarding a business partnership press three now we're going to save it okay now we can do match conditions right so branch name on key press one which will be new client or new lead we're going to add a branch and obviously you have to keep it on then it'll ask you to it'll allow you to add different branches to it but on input two so we asked for uh we asked to press one if they're a new lead we asked to press two if they're an existing client if they're like a vendor then press three so um business partnership press three right and then if they're a new lead now we are gonna we are gonna do another gather input so we are going to say press one for EUI related queries, press two for drug related offenses, press three for salt or battery issues, press four for others, press zero to go back to main menu. All right. So now we are going to do match conditions again. So what did we say? Press one for DUI, branch name DUI. Uh, press two for drug related issues, um, assault and battery. Press three, press four for other. And now for zero, we're just gonna, sorry, on input zero go back right 
So here are some advanced settings. So stop gathering after five seconds, which is reasonable. Stop gathering on key press, which is, uh, you know, we, you can keep that uh, closed. Stop gathering after digits. So we just, we're just looking for one digit press. That's it. We're not looking for multiple digits. So that's why I'm saying one digit. So that's pretty much what we need here. Um, so as a new lead, they're, they're going to go through these. Um, the, the IVR is going to check the conditions here if they're an existing one. So we're going to say again, gather input on call. Uh, now same message. Okay. Press one for update on existing case. Press two for follow up past case. Uh, press three for billing related queries. So now let's match the conditions. Uh, existing case, press one, past case, press two. Then we're going to say uh, billing related query, press three. And then you can go through advanced and the other stuff. So we are starting to have a structure here. Uh, business partnership. Let's gather our input. Press one for service provider inquiry. Press two for referral partnership. Press three for sponsorship opportunity. Press zero to go back. So again, match conditions. So we're going to say uh, service provider inquiry. Press one. And let me just copy this from here. I have it on my other screen. Sponsorship opportunity on three. And then on go back. On zero so go back i think i didn't add go back on this one so i'll just to press zero to go back let's add zero go back so go back is really easy so basically what we're trying to do is if they press zero we want them to go back to playing the initial message or maybe just the first gather input so i'll just do go to and go to this part go to for this one here or again go back go to make it go all the way at the top for the first message right now let's think about the others so what if it's a new lead so the new lead will press one and he will jump on the next gather input, which is uh, one for DUI, two for drug related issues, three for assault and battery, four for other, uh, five for go back. So if they go back, they'll go back to, uh, you know, square one. Now, if they do DUI, let's say we have someone handling those DUI cases, we want to forward that call. So we can just go back to IVR and say connect to call. And if they use, if that person who is dealing with DUI cases is added as a user, we can basically select that person from here. Otherwise, if that person has a number, uh, we can add that person's, uh, you know, uh, number here. So we could just say, let's say this person deals with the DUI cases, right? So connect call to Sarah. And so we are just uh, forwarding this call to Sarah. You can just uh, detect voicemail, record call if you want, you know, timeout, all that stuff. You can do that. But what's more important is we need to say a message again say a play message uh, please hold on while we forward your call to our uh, to the person who deals with DUI right All right so we are saying you're playing a message and then connecting the call to Sarah who deals with DUI cases now what if we don't deal with drug related issues we're just gonna copy this from here and say sorry we don't deal with drug related offense cases we're just going to say that and then we'll just do a go to because we don't deal with it if they have any other queries they can just go back to the first input again it'll start press one for uh, if you are a new lead uh you know uh, or, or press two if you're existing one you know so let's say we uh connect with uh so let's say what else do we have what else can we do so gather input on a call say a play message connect call end call record voicemail 
So, you know, um, we could just do record a voicemail, uh, but th in this case, maybe I just want to connect with to with Paul. So connect call with Paul. And this is Paul's number because Paul deals with assault and battery. Um, and then you can go through the advanced setting if you want to detect voicemail. Basically, enable this feature to determine whether the user answered this call. So if Paul answered the call, if or, or if it went to voicemail, so it can detect that. So connect call with Paul, but before that, we're just gonna say or play a message uh, who deals with salt and battery. That's it. Uh, and then we can do the same stuff for existing and we can also do like we want to do one more step for business partnership. So if they're a service provider inquiry, if they're a vendor, you know, so we can do another gather uh, gather input here. So gather input, let's say press one for vendor queries, press two for other, press zero to go back. And then we can just do uh, match conditions and then just say vendor one uh, and then other to go back i mean you can have as many branches as you as you as you want right i'm just trying to show you that so i'll just do go to go to where so go to playing the first message so this is how you can just keep building branches on it there, there's nothing more to it these are pretty much what we can do uh, in terms of actions, performing actions through workflows in the IVR system. So once you're done, once you're done setting up all these, and also let's say if you are doing other, you can just say, uh, you know, for others, if you, let's say uh, we don't deal with any other kind of issues, uh, any other kind of cases. So we're just gonna do, sorry, uh, we can't help you at the moment. Probably a bit more polite, you know, just do that and then end the call there. You can add voice instructions, but you know, uh, I've already done that. I've already put a say or play message, but I don't want to do that. I'll just end the call there. And then when you're done, publish and save. So that's how you can create a very sophisticated, very advanced type of IVR system uh, through Go High Level. But remember, it has to be always uh, coming through a number. So you can assign that number to the IVR trigger. So that's pretty much it to this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe and drop a comment if you like me to cover any uh, any other topic. I will see you in the next one.